Okay, are we surprised this is happening? No, of course not. Is she wearing pants? Is she not? Is it underwear under there? Who knows? Live on the edge, you know? Oh my god, my hat. Oh, my arm. Oh, what is happening? Summer is approaching, and I got a really cool video suggestion from one of you, Kathy. Thanks so much <laughs> for sending in your email. I've got five sort of summer essential separates. I'm focusing on bottoms today. These are probably items that you've already got in your closet. Maybe you've run out of ways to style them. Maybe you've got a capsule closet. So you want to kind of come up with new ways to style these very like basic summer pieces. So I'm going to take each of these and style them a bunch of different ways. The pieces I've got are a mini skirt. Okay, I know this one's a little bit heavy. I mean, you could do anything like with this if you have a little denim mini or anything like that. It's more silhouette is going to be like a big element that we talk about for this one. The silk slip skirt. I think so many of us have acquired this over the past few years. Linen pants. These are kind of like a sweatpants silhouette. So please keep that in mind. I think linen pants come in like usually a very wide leg silhouette, which is why I've also included my very wide leg trousers so you know interchange and then I've got two pairs of shorts denim cutoffs you know I can't live without them and then a pair of more like dressy shorts so I'm gonna style these a couple of different ways for you hope you like today's video hopefully it gets you looking in your closet first before you go out and shop for the season or at least maybe it'll give you some ideas on what are the best pieces to add to your wardrobe so that you can get more out of what you've already got all right let's jump on in Starting with the mini, I've got a really, really simple base, my cashmere short sleeve tee. You can also just do like a fitted tee. I chose to keep the silhouette fitted on top and structured in addition to the fitted little A-line mini. So we could do, look at this. I just found this vintage, oh God, Apollo. Apollo, basta. Oh, my poor little love. Hey, there you go. Okay, okay, you're okay. There's a couple ways we could go about this look. I've kept it really simple on the bottom because I do want to add a couple layers. Maybe this is more like early summer. I think this is kind of good, especially for nighttime. This is feeling very preppy. So I wanted to add this. The shoe, we could do so many things with such an easy base, but I'm really curious to see what this looks like. A little flat, kind of unexpected with this denim. Actually, is it too unexpected? Does it look a bit too top heavy? No, actually, this is kind of weird. It's kind of weird, but I kind of like it. This is cute. We've got like a little blue story happening. I think what's key here is, like I said, the contrast between the silhouettes here. So we've got big oversized contrasted with something really sharp. And then we've also got that sort of uh, an interesting proportion. We've got like the oversized with something shorter underneath. I think this would look even better if the mini was even shorter but this isn't, uh, this isn't horrible. Here's what we could also do. If you wanna go like full on preppy, I would swap out the shoe for a loafer. And if it's a hotter day, I would just do this because you've got like a really interesting weighty shoe. It's got a lot of personality, right? And then this could be sort of any simple t-shirt. If you need a layer, you could do something like this because it's such a basic base, like so basic. You could do something like this, but this is the purse I would use. So that way we're pulling a little bit like that preppy, keeping in with the brown. Oh, glasses, hang on. There we go. Okay, if we want to take the mini into evening, this is what I would do. Contrasting again the silhouette with something really like billowy and romantic and soft. The skirt can go very corporate slash preppy very quickly. So really want to counter that with the super slinky romantic blouse and with an equally wild like sexy kind of shoe. The other thing though, is I've added this belt because I wanted the mini to come a little bit higher for evening. I also thought like a little bit of definition was warranted. Plus I wanted to kind of bring in the brown of the shoe, especially because this is such a standout shoe and the blouse also has a lot of personality. I wanted to create another little bit of like a bridge between all of these pieces, even though everything's really neutral. There is kind of a lot going on here. It would have been very easy for this look to become confused. I think this buckle is still like a lot. It's a little bit too much structure with all of this. And then we have the tassels at the bottom, like no, no. So all I'm gonna do here, I've switched it. Yeah, there we go. You see how much of it is Apollo. <laughs> 
you see how much better this looks without the belt. Now we still get the definition. We still get a little bit of interest at the waist, breaking up the look, but it's not so much like, oh my gosh, where do I look? I would probably just do something like this again. I mean, let's be real. I'm not going clubbing. I'm not gonna like wear a clutch or something with this. I'm probably just going to like, hopefully a nice restaurant or something. Okay, the slip skirt for day. You could do two things. Like this is a very functional look. I've juxtaposed the super like interesting slinky slip skirt with the chunkier Barry sandal. This is M.A. Parsons. Love, love, love these. Probably one of the best purchases I've ever made. I love how this looks. I love how this sandal looks with pretty much everything. It's like sleek enough to work with the delicateness of the skirt, but also hefty enough to give the whole thing a little bit of interest. Super sporty fitted tank. So here we've got a mix of styles, but also a little bit of a contrast in silhouette. Something really fitted with something a little bit flowy. So that's a little bit of good tension, a little bit Bit more uh, sporty vibes with the hat. And then I thought the convertible backpack is a good one. This does get kind of heavy and hot in the summer if you do wear it on your back. I do find that if you are like, you know, running errands or wandering around a cool place, you kind of want a backpack or like a hands-free option that still looks good and not like a, you know, fourth grade student. Okay, are we surprised this is happening? No, of course not. It's like button down season. So I'm gonna go for it. I wanna show you the difference between shoe choices here because I think originally my intention was to do like a cute little fun strappy kind of sandal. And if you have sort of a more minimal strappy sandal, then that's perfect. You need something a little bit minimal here because there is so much going on, like the tie of the shirt, the print on the skirt, the flowiness of the skirt, all of that stuff, right? So you kind of want the shoe to be a little bit non script and not take away too much from the outfit because I think this is the area that you want to appreciate. So also please excuse the not, I have to be miked so it's it's a little bit sloppy but I've done the kind of knot where like there aren't any buttons done. I just take the bottom, you tie it up. Purse, I would stick with the black and white motif, something small and easy and away we go. Uh Okay, the linen joggers. What I would do for super casual styling is just this. So go with like a cute little cheeky bralette if you want something really sporty or if you are at the beach or at a cottage swimwear. This is such an easy breezy swimwear daytime look because if you want to go for lunch somewhere or something, you can just easily do a little tie up on the button down or just button it up all the way and leave it like nice and loose. Like this is kind of cool too actually. So super versatile. I like going for a whole monochrome look, especially I like matching the texture, especially because we're looking at like something that is so monochrome, so neutral, really cool, like organic texture. I thought going all one color is good. A little bit of a contrast in the chunkier sandal. Okay. The elements aren't really that much different from our daytime look to this nighttime one. I've kept the monochrome color palette. I think, like I mentioned, it's the easiest way to play with a texture that feels perhaps very, very casual. Keeping the top really basic, very streamlined so that it just elevates the linen and especially this like sort of super daytime inspired silhouette. So I think if you keep something else really fitted and simple, it can just bring these up a notch. Of course, the shoe. I mean, I don't know. What do you want? You could, we could have probably changed absolutely nothing about the day look and just added the shoe and we would have been fine. Bag as well, kept it in the same palette. Lighter though, not too heavy. We've got a little bit of gold and that's it. The wide leg trouser, which is like super ubiquitous this season, also was last season. This could also be like a wide leg denim or just a slouchier, bigger straight leg denim if that's what you're into. But same silhouette, same idea. You might just wanna play a little bit with the styles, like mixing the different styles. Cause like a boxy tee. Bustier 
as the night option with the wide leg. Can't go wrong. I think you could go with any like sharp or fun shoe. I kind of like to keep the sharpness of the bustier going with the shoe, but if you want to go with like a more party shoe, I think that's fine too. I think you could go either way, but I like to keep it really nice and like sleek and clean. And I would do this bag. There we go, easy. Fancy elevated shorts. I kind of kept it all within the same fancy realm. I didn't want to mix the styles too much with these because I felt like it could just be a little bit predictable to wear this with like a simple basic tee or even like one of my button downs. I thought the button down would be a little bit too restrictive because we've got such sharp tailoring here plus the button down. I think if you work in an office, like a corporate, you know, slash creative where the hemline can be this short, that would be a really cool look. We really seem to be playing with a lot of the silhouettes in the summer. And I think that's because our options are so limited right? Like we don't have layering. We don't have really cool, beautiful, rich textures like we can play with in the fall, winter. So silhouette variants is really the most visually impactful elements that we have to play with in the hot weather. I actually kept the shoe kind of like elevated with the little sling back, easy to walk in. This would look equally good with a little flat. Let me show you. Look, you could go two directions with the shoe. Look how cute this is, how instantly the shoe changes. This feels like a little bit too safari for me to be honest, but if you wanted something a little bit more hefty, weighty, preppy, utilitarian looking, you could do something like this. I would probably swap out the belt for something thinner so that you don't have so much weight here and so much weight in the shoe, to be honest. It would make it like a little bit more refined looking. You could also do these cute little ballerine. This is okay too. Ultimately, I think the slingback is my favorite shoe with this. So maybe we should just skip all of this. Go back to the slingback. Purse that I would use here would be this guy pulling in the browns. So we've got this like really beautiful, soft juxtaposed with this really structured tailored short. I like how this feels both feminine, classic, a little bit easy, right? Not too constricted. Evening. This is what I would do. Doesn't feel too different. We've got the party shoe. They are awesome with the shorts. I like, again, how this shoe, it's like toned down because of the color, but it's got a couple of fun little touches to it. So it's not really pulling from what's happening here, which is kind of a lot, right? Like we've got the pleats, this chunky silhouette in the short, and then super romantic, oversized blouse. But again, I like the tension between these two pieces, that structure with something really, really soft. And I'm okay with the super high contrast here in terms of color because the shoe is the same color as the shorts. I probably wouldn't introduce a crazy bright color here with the shorts because this is already a really big contrast, but like you do you. That's the beauty of dealing with accessories. And if you have quite a few, you can go maximal, you can go bold, you can easily go minimal, super, super versatile. But yeah, this is how I would dress it up for evening and with this bag still. I've worn this like a bajillion times. This is my summer uniform ultimate. You're probably not surprised to see me in it. I like dressing up the cut off denims with a classic button up. I think it's just such a beautiful summer take on the typical straight leg denim with a great crisp button up. You could swap out the shoes here, something more preppy. We could do the loafer, but I kind of like how the ballerina feels maybe a touch unexpected. It has a little bit more of that like delicate element, which I like to bring in in the summer months, whereas like these heavier, more like masculine, feminine, androgynous vibes I prefer to do in the fall. But I'll just show you. I mean, this would work equally well with the little loafer. It totally will depend on your mood. Depends on how much visual heft you want your look to have. This feels a bit heavier. I'm not as much of a fan, to be honest, but it's still cute. We're still good. You don't have to even change the purse because you're still working with the brown and the belt, now in the shoe, all good. Evening. 
For me, if we start with the shoe, especially with the denim cutoffs, I did not want to do like either of these, like a party shoe, something that was too playful with the denim cutoff. I feel like that's just, I don't know, it feels a little bit juvenile almost. I don't know if that's the right word. I just feel like you want to kind of bring the denim cutoffs into a more serious territory. I think like the sharpness of a stiletto and the cutoff denim, I just think that's such a, I mean, I don't know. I just think it's a little bit more chic, I guess. This is essentially the same outfit formula that I did with the last pair of shorts. Juxtapose the denim with a nice like silky blouse. Got a little bit of the like ruffle collar detail. And I kept the belt because I like how it kind of brings polish, especially with the denim cutoff. I like how it just kind of reins everything in. And you know what you could do here, which actually would be really fun, would be like a cool oversized blazer. Yeah, 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 this works. Um, you know, the kind of look where it's like, is she wearing pants? Is she not? Is it underwear under there? Who knows? Live on the edge, you know? Here we go. Same bag. Yeah, this bag is working really hard. I like it. That's what I would do. So that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you have other summer staples that you would like me to do this kind of thing with in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you learned something new, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching as always. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, your week, your evening, wherever you are at in the world, in the time zone. And I will see you in the next little fashion video. Ciao!